summery squid. I'm after a white wine that's fresh enough to work with those seaside flavours and that's ripe enough to bounce around with the spice of the chorizo. Now you could choose a white Rioja, like this one, Antear from Marquez de Cáceres, award-winning and excellent. But having cooked this dish at home, I'm after a wine that's even more pacey and racy to gallop along that final furlong and nose victory for Ben. So I'm selecting a wine from Galicia, and it is Caixas Godello 2012, Hooves of Glory. Godello has returned from the brink of extinction in the 1970s and I'm delighted to see it making a comeback. It's one of those wines that can be young and fruity like this one, or it can be aged in oak barrels to make a more savoury wine. Either way, it manages to pull off the trick of being soft and refreshing at the same time. Welcome back! Oh, delicious! Think about the big flavours on the plate in Ben's dish, the spice in the chorizo. For that, you want to avoid a wine that's too sharp and embrace one that's soft enough to jiggle alongside. And then, of course, there's the subtle flavour of the squid. It's got a sort of sweet ocean character to it. And again, you want a wine that's quite nimble, nothing too heavy that's going to mask its subtle flavour. And finally, think about that punch in the aioli from the garlic and the mustard. And of course, it's got a glossy texture as well. What we're looking for with that is a bit of body. Ben, here's to your sensational squid. Cheers! Mm.